before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click the like button to help spread word about Watch Jojo Animals, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. After her brother found this defenceless baby bird, how she took it under her wing is heartwarming. Baby birds are ridiculously vulnerable. They can't see or feed themselves, for one thing, and their bodies don't even regulate their own heat. When a chick falls from its nest, then it's usually not a pretty sight. Thankfully, after one such incident, an expert wildlife conservationist knew exactly what to do. The event came to people's attention on February 26, 2014. This was when an Imgur user called Dashend Dashend posted a beautiful story about a tiny baby bird that the poster's brother had found while out jogging. So what was the first thing that Dashend Dashend did when presented with the little fledging? Go back to the spot where it had been found to see if they could return it to its nest. It was actually still attached to part of its shell and some dried membranes. Clearly freshly hatched, we were unable to locate the nest in the group of trees above us, Dashend and Dashend wrote so the OP decided to take the baby bird home. But Dashend and Dashend has an advantage over most people who might find themselves in such a situation. After all, the OP works in wildlife conservation and knows how to raise wild birds. Dashend Dashend and the poster's brother assumed that the bird was female, though they couldn't tell one way or the other. Nevertheless, they named the bird Dumpling. Once back home, then the OP immediately put Dumpling in an egg incubator to keep her warm. Dashen Dashen also ordered an intensive feeding schedule, every half an hour for 14 hours a day. They would give the little bird insects that they had caught or store-bought formula especially made for chicks. She would start squawking to be fed every 30 to 45 minutes, the Dashen Dashen wrote on Imga. But what was really impressive at this stage in her development, Dashen Dashen wrote, was that even with the poor coordination and closed eyes, this chick knew enough to back up to the edge of the nest we made for her and poop over the side, so as not to dirty the nest. Later, at just five days old, Little Dumpling began to show off some downy plumage. Indeed, the bird really seemed to grow fast. The baby cheaper was even starting to sit more like a bird instead of a raw dumpling. But chicks can't keep themselves warm until they get a proper growth of feathers. So at this stage, baby birds have tube-like sheaths called pin feathers that protect the feathers as they grow. You can see that most distinctively here on dumplings' wings, for example. Once the feather gets to its final size, this sheath disintegrates and the feather is allowed to spread open, Dashen Dashen explained. Then Dashen Dashen wrote, Overnight, all of the feather sheaths fell away and ta-da, we have a bird. The only issue was that the growing dumpling had a bent toe, which probably came from falling out of the nest. But the OP said nothing could be done for the chick that young, and it wasn't affecting her balance. By day eight, dumplings' diet had shifted from chick formula to little insects to waxworms and large crickets. But even with her feathers starting to come in, dumpling was still a mystery to her foster family, in terms of her exact species. Thankfully, though, their little bird had survived to the point that they could now take her out of the incubator. Since her body was covered in feathers, she was able to regulate her body heat on her own. The tuffets of chick fluff and eternally grumpy expression that baby birds have was hilarious, Dashend and Dashend wrote. But don't let her expression fool you. With a bird cage as her new home, this was probably a happy little dumpling and her foster family made sure that her new home had lots of little additions, similar to what she'd find if she was still in the wild. She was a very sweet little bird and enjoyed perching on our hands early on, Dashen Dashen wrote. In fact, Dumpling made her first attempt at balancing on a perch at 11 days old. She sat there like a pro despite her bent toe, which didn't seem to give her any gripping problems at all. Indeed, it was her perching posture that helped identify Dumpling as a songbird. And now that their crooner was old enough, Dashen Dashen and family didn't have to feed her by hand and would often leave mealworms and sprouts in her cage to help her practice her scavenging skills. They also gave their songbird freshly cut branches from species of non-toxic trees. Of course, their songbird needed some singing lessons too, so Dashen Dashen wrote that on day 22, we started placing her cage out on the deck to get her exposed to the wind, the sun and other birds, the poster added. This was important for socialization and training. Other birds would come to the feeders and interact with her, and she could watch them and learn their songs. With their charge finally showing some adult plumage, Dumpling's foster family could narrow down her species. 
although they weren't sure if she was a white crowned sparrow or a chipping sparrow, in either case they knew Dumpling would be making a winter migration. Incidentally, white crowned sparrows can stay awake for two weeks during migration, and biologists are looking into whether this natural ability in the birds can potentially help humans with alertness issues. But before even thinking about taking on the role of mama bird to a fallen hatchling, Dash and Dash and stressed that it is truly a job for professionals. As they explained, this is not meant as a guide, but more to show you the amazing development and growth of songbirds. Wildlife rehabilitation should only be carried out by those licensed to do so. Indeed, Dash and Dash and, and other experts stress that if you find a hatchling, the best thing that you can do is try to return it to its nest or take it to the nearest wildlife rehabilitation centre. The idea that parent birds will reject a baby bird if it smells of human touch is a myth, however. As for their little dumpling, Dash and Dash and proudly watched the bird become more and more independent. At nearly a month old, Dumpling was eating solely on her own, refusing any food delivered by hand, and concentrating on a diet of worms, seeds and a new favourite, fresh tree buds. At this point, she was essentially releasable, the OP wrote. But to ensure her safety, Dumpling's carers wanted to wait. There are some expected storms rolling over in the next few days, so we decided to keep her for a few days longer, to give her the best chance, Dash and Dash and wrote. Dumpling's lovely family eventually said goodbye to her on day 36, after the storms. We drove to a nearby nature preserve, about a mile from where she was initially found, and where we knew there would be others of her kind. Dash and Dash and said, Within seconds, Dumpling flitted out of her cage and vanished into the trees. She was lucky to have found two people who knew exactly how to raise a wild little bird. Please do not forget to share this video with your friends below. Please do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that is new.